What is the AMD System Monitor? The AMD System Monitor is used to monitor both CPU and graphics card, or GPU, workloads. Modern applications are starting to make use of OpenCL to accelerate the applications faster than just the CPU alone could provide. AMD created this utility to demonstrate the benefits of their new APUs, or accelerated processing units, like the new AMD Fusion processors. They combine both the CPU and GPU into the same processor package. Let's download and install the AMD System Monitor. Open a web browser like Internet Explorer. In the address bar, enter support.amd.com and press enter. In the search AMD box, enter AMD System Monitor and press enter. The first link should be the AMD System Monitor. Click it. On the AMD System Monitor page, click the AMD System Monitor link at the bottom. When asked what you want to do with the file, click the Save As button. Let's select the desktop, and then click the Save button. When the download finishes, on the Download Information bar, Click the Open button. The zip file contains the installation files, but we need to extract the contents before we run the installer, otherwise it'll error out. Click the Extract All Files button. By default, it'll unzip the files to the same location as the source zip file, which in this case is the desktop. This is fine as we'll delete the files after installation. Ensure that Show Extract Files when complete is selected, and then click the Extract button. Double-click the executable file on the Open File Security Warning window that opens. Click the Run button. On the AMD System Monitor window that opens, click the Install button. On the Welcome screen, click the Next button. On the License Agreement, click the Radio button to select I Agree, and then click the Next button. On the Select Installation folder screen, change from just me to everyone. And then click the next button. On the confirm installation screen, click the next button. The installation should only take a minute or so to complete. On the installation complete screen, click the close button. To open the AMD system monitor, click the Windows Start button, All Programs, AMD, System Monitor, and then the System Monitor icon. Let's review the information presented within the AMD System Monitor. At the very top right of the window, you will see an Always on Top link. You can check this and it will keep the utility on top of anything you are running, including a game. This is useful to be able to run tests but still be able to see the usage of the GPU. Just to the right of the Always on Top link, there's a black box that says REC inside of it, a record. Pressing this button once will begin recording all of the information presented in this utility every couple of seconds. You'll see it flashing to represent that it is recording. Pressing it again will end the recording. The recordings are stored in the directory you installed the AMD system monitor within a folder named Recordings. The default path is C Program Files x86 AMD. System Monitor, Recordings. The recordings are stored in a CSV file format. You can view these files in Microsoft Office, OpenOffice, as well as other programs if you want. Here I just wanted to demonstrate I have the C drive open, Program Files x86, AMD, System Monitor, Recordings. Here's what the path looks like. And here we can see the different recordings that I've made. If we double click one of them, I have my CSV file set to open in OpenOffice. You could actually open this in Notepad if you wanted, or Microsoft Office. Here we can see the different fields of information, and every one second the information is recorded to the CSV file. Below this information you'll see the CPU listed with a CPU monitor below it, as well as a graphics card or GPU with a monitor for usage. The CPU usage bar represents the combined usage of all cores. 
You can click on both of these to expand them and get a graph of usage by clicking on the details. Once it's expanded, we can see that I have three CPU cores and only a single GPU. Each core is listed with its clock speed and its own usage bar. The graph above it has individual lines for each core represented in green. In the top right, it shows the combined use of all cores, which at the moment is 17, 13, 16 percent. For the GPU, we can see the core frequency of 625 MHz and the memory speed of 993 MHz. There is no usage now, but the red line will graph any use. In addition to the three green lines representing each CPU core, there is a red line in the CPU details. This is the same as the red line that's down in the GPU details. This is so you only have to have the CPU expanded, and will still be able to view the GPU usage. Below the CPU and GPU information, there is the system memory usage. We can see the system has 4,095 megabytes, or 4 gigabytes of RAM. It gives you a breakdown of the usage, in use, modified, standby, and free. Let's run an OpenCL benchmark to stress the GPU so we can see the usage climb. For this, you will use the Luxmark OpenCL benchmark software. You don't need to install this program. This is just so I can demonstrate what the system monitor will show when the GPU is in use. For this reason, I will run the benchmark and not actually go through the installation process with you. We can see that as soon as I start this benchmark, the red GPU line rises to 100% GPU usage. Currently, I have it set to only test the GPUs, which is why the CPU is at such a low usage now. You can also change this to monitor both the CPU and GPU, which I'll do after this test. Now with the GPU alone, I get a score of 1668. Set this to OK. And now we'll run the benchmark on both the CPU and the GPU. And now we can see that both the CPU cores and the GPU are heavily taxed. Here we can see that the combined score between using the CPU and GPUs was 2550. Now originally, just the GPU alone, we got a score of 1668. So we can see when we compare that to the score of 2550, that the GPU was accounted for over half of the performance there. In case anybody was wondering, I'm running an AMD Radeon HD 4850 with 512 megs of RAM. The last thing that I want to go over quickly is a problem that I ran into while reinstalling the AMD system monitor. I had first installed this just to go over and see how it worked. Then I uninstalled it so that I could reinstall it and record the process. When I reinstalled the program, it kept crashing upon starting. I didn't record the exact message, so I can't put it here. But basically, as soon as you launched the application, it would crash. The problem came down to the performance counters had been corrupted. To fix this problem, you open a command prompt. And in the command prompt, you type lodctr slash r. And what this will do is restore the perf registry strings and info from backed up copies. You should now have the AMD system monitor installed on your system and have a good understanding of the information it presents to you.